And um, again, what guarantees, what possible uh, situations would be put into a bank if it does go further, if it does take longer? And as was mentioned again before about the parking, um, this has been a problem since I've been in this town for 22 years and everybody talks about it and we all try it, we've all tried over the years to try and solve that problem in the parking. Um, it's one of those situations that maybe can't be solved. But with this possible construction going ahead, what's going to happen to the uh, access and egress of town, which is already a problem? You know, you get a truck, double park, or going into Kings or something like that. There's uh, some kind of backup, and it, it's a problem. I see, and I'm glad to see more merchants and, and landowners, uh, property owners in, in the meetings and trying to help, because I'm not sure that um, they understand. And I'm, I don't fully understand the possibilities of what this is going to do to the town. And as John uh, Mr. Dilly just mentioned, how many of the a small mom and pop merchants are going to lose business because of this? Because people will say, I don't want to go downtown, it's just too much of a mess there. And they go to Melbourne, they go to Shore Hills, they go to South Orange. And when we see the demise, of Maplewood, and as I look around this room and I see all these wonderful uh, paintings and everything else, this is what Maplewood was all about, including construction. So I hope that, you know, um, that it, it, in this plan, that the uh, possibilities of what's going to happen and how it can be lessened if it goes forward. Thank you.